Hey guys, it's Kaylin, and I am back with a video. I don't know why I do that. Okay. Hey guys. So, today is going to be the first ever The Real Kaylin Storytime. I feel like this camera is lopsided. So if it is lopsided, I am sorry. So, today's story time is actually gonna be kind of broken up into three different parts. It's gonna be three different story times kind of in one. Okay, so the first part of the story time is obvious because if you notice that I don't have any hair. I cut off all my hair. Um, I cut off pretty much a lot of my hair. Actually, all of my hair, to be honest. If you guys look back, if you guys are new here, you would not have noticed that. But if you guys are frequently, frequent view, Frequent viewers to and you were like been to my channel several times you noticed that I have cut my hair So beforehand my hair had like it was pretty much longer on this side And it was like a part and then it was like a little bit on this side and it was like faded on the side I don't know if there's an actual name for this haircut. I'm just trying to describe it as best I can if you guys want I'll put like a a little video right here or a little screenshot of what my hair looked like beforehand so I cut off a decent amount and it was for several reasons. So the first was that it was starting to grow out. And normally when it grows out, I just cut it and it goes back to looking really, really nice. Um, now I do my hair as my curly hair video. If you haven't watched that, go look at that. Um, I'll do that whole process. It looks nice. But I wanted to grow my hair out and do a different style. And in order to do that, I would have had to either just let it all grow out and it just be uneven and it looks terrible because if I were to try to cut it and make it look nice on the sides, it would have still been very uneven up here and you would have been able to see a big indent where my part was or um, I would have had to cut it all off and just kind of start from new. And that's what I did because what I won't be is a fool. And what I won't be is a scrub. And I would have looked like a, a grade A scrub walking around if I would have just tried to let it grow out the normal way. So. Um, I cut it all off and you can kind of to be honest still see a little bit of the part right here It's really just because my hair was starting to just learn to just part right here normally So it's kind of weird and then also because this was a little bit shorter than my hair is right now But I didn't want him to actually cut off all my hair So I told him just cut it down as well as possible without you really knowing noticing the part so that's what it did um, but it's hair it's gonna grow back so I'm not too worried about it. The second big reason is because I had a couple comments wondering what should they do if they have shorter hair or saying that they can't wait to do that curly hair video beforehand. And I wanted to, to say something really important is that my hair does that because I took care of it when it was shorter. And so it was kind of just like an ongoing process. So when I got to that part, my hair wasn't just trying to frizz out and do whatever it wanted to do. I actually trained my hair from when it was about this length. Because if you look back a year ago in my videos, my hair was decently long, but I didn't take care of it nearly as much as I do now. Um, so I had to start from scratch and I just um, did several things for it. And I'm gonna show you guys that. That's kind of why I cut off my hair. I was comfortable with cutting off my hair. So I can do sort of a curly hair journey so you guys can see the process and the steps that I went to to get my hair at the longer part. So where when it did get longer, it was, not as hard to manage as it would have been if I just tried to start doing my hair just randomly or if I just randomly started taking care of my hair. And that's kind of why I wanted to show you guys, just show you guys that whole journey so you guys wouldn't be confused and so you guys could know what steps to take while your hair is shorter so when it does get longer, it's popping, it's nice, it's good, and you're looking real nice and fresh. So that's why I did that. Um, the second part, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's not kind of funny because gonna make it seem like I was inconsistent but I wasn't inconsistent because I, I still did post the video um, every week which is what I, my, my goal was back in the, the New Year's video but I told you guys I was gonna start doing daily vlogs the vlogs so um and this is gonna also segue into the next part as well but the vlogs so I was trying to do daily vlogs if you guys saw some of the other videos and I know some of you guys did I was doing daily vlogs and I was trying to get them up there as, as quick as possible so if it wasn't every single day, it was every other day, I'm um, just trying to get it because of my schedule. But my schedule is so inconsistent that I would film something early on in the day and I would start editing it, but when I got home from work, I was dog tired and I would pass out because I wasn't used to just editing stuff. So I would be like, okay, well, I'm gonna post it tomorrow. 
not realizing that if I post it tomorrow, should I edit it tomorrow, I'm also supposed to be filming and editing another video that goes up that same day. So I ended up getting further and further and further behind. Um, but I still was filming stuff every single day. So I still have filmed stuff for those missing days, but they just didn't get posted. Um, and it kind of came to a sudden halt right um, after I filmed one of my videos and I was in downtown. So this is kind of, I guess, the actual story part of this whole story, guy. Um, I was downtown, I was filming, um, and I normally go downtown just to kind of get away from everything and just... It, downtown puts a lot of things in perspective for me because I'm just like, I'm not the only one here. It's all these other people living their daily lives and either they're with their kids, they're with their dogs, with their boyfriend, they're with their girlfriend, they're driving home from work. It all puts all of that in perspective and I kind of just, it doesn't make me feel small, but it, it makes me realize that, hey, not everything's about you. There's so much this world has to offer and there's so many people on these different journeys and I think that's just something that I do just to take myself away from myself. Um, but I was down there filming a video and I went home, went to sleep. The next day, went to work, came home and I was gonna take a nap and then I was gonna go back to downtown. Um, I ended up oversleeping. But when I woke up, I got a text message, basically um, all these, te several text messages, but then also I got on Twitter and I saw that there had been a shooting in downtown Dallas. And I'm like, what? Um, but there was a shooting. And, and you guys have probably heard about it, as I'm sure you have heard about it. Several police officers were shot and killed, unfortunately, um, during a peaceful Black Lives Matter protest. Black Lives Matter, the people in the organization and several people who are allies or African Americans in general, they were out there peacefully protesting and someone, um, a sniper, a gunman, a gunman um, started shooting and he was aiming at police officers. Uh, he did shoot one other woman that was there, but uh, it was a pretty surreal experience. And even though I wasn't there, I live only 10 minutes away from downtown. so for something like that to happen so close to home, it again put a lot of things in perspective. It was, when it happens 10 minutes away from you, it it's just kind of like, oh my God, this that, that could have easily been me. Like I could have been out there and got shot. I could have been out there, all that commotion. I could have literally been out there when people were dying. Um, and it just, it was a lot, and it was also following the fact that Philando Castile and um, Alton Sterling had just been murdered themselves. And those shootings had happened 24 hours back to back, and then Dallas. And it was just like, it was so much that was just happening. I mean, everything from the start of this summer, from the Orlando shootings, now down to this, it was just like, oh my, like every time you wake up, there's something else happening. There's some tragedy happening here. And it seemed like it was just getting closer and closer. And I don't know, I just kind of went numb. It was like I was upset, I was hurt, I was sad, I was all these emotions. And then I just became numb. It was just like I didn't want to do anything because I was so afraid of everything at that point in time. It was like, I don't want to step outside my door and feel like I'm gonna die. I mean, and with the, the two shootings of the African-American men, that alone, as an African-American man, just really scared. It scares me every, every time that it happens. Every single time that it happens, it's like, I try to not watch the videos. I try to not really look at it because I know that it could easily be me or one of my friends or one of my family members. And it's, it's just, after you watch it for so many times, it's just, it, you do become numb to it. And it's just almost, that's even worse, the fact that it's not surprising. Or it's just like, yeah, that happens. I've made people that look like me get shot and nothing happens. You have outraged African Americans saying, hey, we, this is, it's fucking unfair. Like, fuck, stop, stop doing that. Stop, 
senselessly murdering people that look like us because they look like us. Um, and then you have people who have put this false narrative that Black Lives Matter is anti-police or anti-white or anti-everybody but black, when that's just simply not the case. Black Lives Matter is not only Black Lives Matter or Black Lives Matter only. There's no only before or after Black Lives Matter. If anything, if there is an invisible word or words without Black Lives Matter, it would be Black Lives Matter as well. Black Lives Matter also, those kind of things. It is an inclusive thing. It is saying that not all lives can matter if Black lives don't. And if you keep killing Black people and not giving a fuck or killing them and, and letting the murderers go off and when white people do things that are 10 times as worse, they get taken to Burger King or they get six months in jail or they don't get anything at all. They just get paid vacation. It's like, what message are you sending to African Americans that their lives don't matter? So that is why Black Lives Matter is Black Lives Matter. The fact that we are systematically and institutionally discriminated and also murdered, and it seems like no one cares but us. And so that is the issue. Um, but all of that to say, is that my challenge to you guys is that I want you guys to, whether you are black, Latino, Indian, Asian, whatever race you are, even if you are white, research your history. Know the facts about your history and your ancestors. There's a lot of misinformation out there, but find the truth, dig deeper, talk about it. Talk about it, stop. I don't like the fact that people now feel like race related conversations are off the limits. I would rather hear someone talk about the way that they feel about situations and we can have a a person to person interaction about it and see each other's perspectives and come to an agreement rather than just not saying anything at all because that's nothing will get fixed at that point in time. So talk about it. Voice your opinions. Listen to other people's opinions and and see their their side because I feel like now we, with the fact that social media is so broad and the fact that the internet is such a, a huge space where you can find so much information and be able to reach so many people. I mean, you guys have found this video. Don't know how you found this video, but you found it. You can easily find me. You can easily find information about yourself, whether it is your actual family lineage, whether it is your, your race or your races, or just the history of your country in general. Research those things. Find out the truth um, and talk about it. Um, that's my, my thing for you guys. Be respectful um, and just send out love and positive vibes to everybody because I think that's what we need is just to all love and have more love for ourselves and for each other. And I'm off my soapbox. It's kind of, like I said, part three, but that was also a segue from why the vlog's gonna stop. So. I kind of stopped after that and then after after all of that happened I did post some more videos but by that time I was days behind and so I was just like no um but also because I'm not a daily blogger I'm not that is not what I'm here for I want to make content um and yes daily vlogs they have their own realm and for all those daily vloggers out there you guys are bomb I, I watch a lot of daily vlogs um and that is their content that's not the type of content that I want to do. And I want to be able to put quality content out there that I feel comfortable putting out there. Not just a vlog of me and my friends just sitting at Torchies or Rusty's Tacos. And then I go to work randomly and then the vlog ends. Like that to me is not anything of substance. Um, I want to be able to put stuff that you guys want to see. Um, and if my life becomes important enough that you guys want to see, cool. And I will definitely put vlogs out there like the ones that I put beforehand, my favorite one, which is the Where Have I Been, um, that vlog, that is a culmination of several different things and it takes you on a journey of where I've been, that is what I want you guys to see. But not just meaningless vlogs, just to say I put a video up there. I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna just stick to the vlogs that I've been trying to do, which was kinda months at a time, 
and kind of catching you up on my life and backstories, stuff that you don't see in these videos, kind of just filling it in and be like, oh, that's what he was talking about. Or when he posted that picture on Instagram, that's what he was doing. Cool, that stuff. But um, as for daily vlogs, um, don't think that's gonna keep happening. Um, but the real life of Kaylin will be what I start titling my vlogs now is the real life of Kaylin. So that, that'll stay. One thing that we did get out of the vlogs was the title of the vlogs. Um, but yeah, so I got some interesting content coming up for you guys. So stay tuned. Okay. Um, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Can we get this to like, let's say 15 to 20 likes. Let's go for that. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, your family, your mama, your daddy, your sister, your grandpa, all of them. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. And okay, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Tonight I'm on my worst, 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 worst. Worst, 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 worst. Tonight I'm